Hey, Daniela here. So yesterday I asked you, do you need to achieve a certain amount of success before you can think about finding your love? Well, many of you said, yes, you know, I need to actually get to a certain point in my career, in my business, in my life, before I can really be valuable enough to find my love. Well, I totally disagree. I think that you do not need to wait to get any sort of level of success before you can find your love. Look, I get it. I'm ambitious and you are too. If you're an ambitious woman with big dreams, big goals, your person, your ideal man, is going to recognize that in you. He's gonna see your dreams, see the actions you're taking, see all of your desires, all the steps that you're moving towards, and it won't matter where you are on that journey. He'll be able to see who you are as an ambitious woman who's taking steps towards your dream. So trust your man to see that. And look, women and men, don't get confused. Your value is not the number in your bank account. Your value as a man or a woman is steady and it's as big and enormous as you believe it is. So again, don't get confused. Your value as a wife, as a husband, doesn't, doesn't matter about you know, the number in your bank account. It's who you are and what you believe yourself to bring to the table. So I hope that helps. You don't have to wait to achieve some sort of level of success before you can find your love. That's ready for you now. If you are successful, if you are ambitious, if you've got goals, awesome. Your love is waiting for you right now and will probably even help you achieve those goals. So let me know what you think. And if you want more about this, I've actually created an ebook called Find Your Love Without Losing Yourself or Sacrificing Your Career. I would love to share this with you. It's totally free. Click the link below. Get Find Your Love Without Losing Yourself or Sacrificing Your Career. And we can talk about this more. So till I see you soon, take good care of your sweetheart. Bye-bye.